Have you made your decision? I have, Lawrence, and I have a decision to run again. Look, as you've already pointed out, I'm a farmer. Um, I basically lived uh, within 100 miles of where I was born my entire life. Uh, I think it's important we have that perspective of a family farmer, somebody who's willing to not only stick up for family farm agriculture, the backbone of this country, but for our veterans and make sure we're, our country is protected and secure with a strong defense. And uh, and that's really why I've stepped up to the plate and going to run again. And I, I just can't thank you enough for this opportunity to visit with you about it. What are you uh, What are you telling Montana voters uh, about your decision to run again? Why you're running again? In terms that Montana voters will care about. Yeah, well, look, I mean, uh, Montana is a very rural state. We have challenges that are pretty unique to Montana because of distance. So whether we're talking about making sure we've got access to health care or whether we're talking about uh, broadband and making sure everybody has access to broadband, whether we're talking about making sure that uh, we have a strong defense in this country and that uh, our, our military people are treated appropriately, as well as the veterans who once served in the military. I think all those are Montana values. And I think if we can bring a little Montana common sense and Montana values to Washington, D.C., that works for everybody in the country. Uh, you have said that Democrats uh, have not done yet a good enough job of explaining what they have achieved, especially for uh, rural Americans, in the infrastructure bill, which was a bipartisan infrastructure bill supported in the end by Mitch McConnell, driven all the way by the president and the Democrats, but in the end, picking up some bipartisan support in the Senate. Uh, have you delivered the word to Montana voters about what they're getting in that infrastructure bill? Look, we do our best to talk about uh, the good things that are in that infrastructure bill, and there's too many to mention on this program tonight, but everything from good roads and good bridges to broadband to making sure our electrical grid, grid is up to snuff, very important. But ultimately, in the end, Lawrence, it's about reducing costs for our families and our small businesses, making sure they have a fair shot at surviving and, and keeping America's economy the number one economy on Earth. I think that's really what it's about. Uh, we talk about it a lot. I think everybody needs to talk about it a lot because that infrastructure bill is the biggest investment in infrastructure since the Eisenhower administration. And it's a, a big deal, and it's going to do a lot for the economy today and for future generations. And I'm very proud to be one of the 10 people, bipartisan, five Democrats, five Republicans that worked on that bill and got it across the finish line and got it to the president's desk because, quite honestly, this country needs an investment in infrastructure, and this bipartisan infrastructure bill does exactly that. You know, back in Mike Mansfield's day, senators uh, from states like Montana, and any state for that matter, uh, could, in the, in the bigger cities, uh, talk in a more liberal way than they might talk in rural areas. Franklin Roosevelt did that in the state of New York. He talked differently in Manhattan than he did to voters up in Hamilton County. Uh, it's pretty tricky to try to do that now in the modern age when everyone knows exactly what you've said as soon as you said it, whether it's in the newspaper or not. Uh, so I've been trying to figure out, is there some way John Tester talks to Democratic voters <laughs> in Montana uh, one way, and then when he drives down the road and he's talking to Trump voters, he talks a different way? No, I, uh, I'm what you see, Lawrence. So you, get, you get what you see. And... Uh... We talk about issues, uh, whether I'm in uh, the biggest city in Montana in Billings or whether I'm in one of the smaller ones, my hometown of Big Sandy. And we, we talk, I talk about the same thing in both places. And what it's about is it's about freedom and it's about privacy and it's about making sure we have a federal government that has our back. It's about reducing costs so, so families and businesses have a fair shot at survival. It's about making sure our supply chain is secure uh, it doesn't matter where I go. Uh, those are the kind of things I talk about. Uh, and underpinning all that is the fact that we have family farm agriculture in this country that has not only fed this country, but has fed the world. And we have a public education system that is the foundation of our democracy. And I think those are the kind of things that help motivate people to vote, number one, because this country didn't happen by accident, Lawrence. It happened because we have great people before me. Uh, my parents, my grandparents, people like Mike Mansfield, Lee Metcalf, those kind of folks 
uh, provided public service to this country and has made this country what it is today. We have to make smart decisions if our kids are going to have an opportunity at, at success in the future. And that's what I try to do in the United States Senate.